Welcome back to another episode. My name is Big T. I'm Scott. And together we are the Nerd Treasure Chest. So today, we're once again gonna go into Scott's vintage Return of the Jedi collection, see what kind of figure we have inside the actual Nerd Treasure Chest. Ooh. Now this is a little bit more well-known character than we usually deal with. It of course is Bib Fortuna, Jabba the Hutt's right-hand man that we originally see in Return of the Jedi, but we see across the Star Wars universe and a couple other things, including the Boba Fett miniseries and the Bad Batch uh, animated cartoon. Correct. He is a Tweedleek. He is first seen in the movie Return of the Jedi. This awesome. is when R2-D2 and C-3PO yeah. first roll into Jabba's palace. They're greeted with, I guess, the host, which is Bib Fortuna. R2-D2 demands to talk to Jabba himself and deliver the message. And Bib Fortuna gets kind of mad and is like, huh. and then he storms off this, this way or something like that. We don't know what actually what he says. So this is a standard 65 card back. Uh, it's the one you've seen in several of them. This one has, I believe, the Y-Wing fighter. It has a, a belt, an accessory belt that you can actually put all your figures in. Kind of like, I think it's supposed to be like the bandolier from Chewbacca. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to mimic. And then we have C-3PO. He has a staff as well, which you'll see as it rotates around here. This guy actually sells for as low as $78 and as high as $127. On average, it's about $110. This is actually probably my one of my nicer kept cards. This actually still has the punch intact. This is a little bit of a rough spot down here on the bottom, but other than that, he's in really good condition. He's sliding around a bunch too. I need to probably refasten him for some reason. I'm surprised he's kind of lower on the spectrum scale, being that Bib Fortuna is one of the more well-known B or C level characters in the movie. Again, if you got Job of the Hut for Christmas and you didn't get a Bib Fortuna for Christmas, you'd be like, Mom, Dad, what's going on, man? I gotta have Bib Fortuna. Who's gonna get the Jedi mind trick played on by Luke, you know? Yeah, he's like the uh, office manager for Jabba the Hutt's palace, man. Without Bib Fortuna, nothing happens. And again, once uh, Jabba perished, Bib Fortuna took over the business and ran it for several years until Boba Fett showed up in the book of Boba Fett and said, yeah, we're, we're done with you. Um, an interesting thing we were discussing, and we'd love to hear your theories down in the comments, Bib Fortuna is on the sail barge when it explodes. 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 Well, he's on it before it explodes, at least. <laughs> but uh, how did he get off? How did he get yeah. back to Jabba's palace? How many people survived that? Because Bib Fortuna is clearly seen pushing Leia toward Jabba the Hutt on the sail barge before Luke gets his lightsaber and everything back. So he was present. How did he get out of there? Yeah, I mean, he's a Twi'lek. He doesn't have teleportation for what we can yeah. what we can come to the conclusion of, so we don't know how he got so off the So unless there was some sort of little escape pod or something like that, or maybe it's Star Wars Legends that we don't know. So if you've got some information on it, that's great. Yeah. Uh, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. But again, first song in Return of the Jedi. Um, he's also seen in The Phantom Menace in Episode 1 before the Boonta Eve race. Um, as Jabba spits the frog to start the race off, he's there present. Again, you can see him in the Bad Batch when he's trying to acquire... Munchie the um, Rancor for Jabba. It's the post credit scene for season two of The Mandalorian. Ah, okay. Phoenix Shan and Boba Fett come into the palace. Bib Fortuna greets him. Spoiler alert, Boba kills him and takes over the Jabba's empire. And that's how we get into the book of Boba Fett. This is the first time you can see Luke Skywalker. Spoiler alert, use his new Jedi Master powers to the full potential and uses the Jedi mind trick to get past the Bib Fortuna and push the two Gamerian guards. Get Gamarian guards out Gamarian of the way. Guards, yeah. Pretty remember, cool, though. Remember, we hadn't seen the um, Jedi mind trick. You will like and subscribe. You will like and subscribe. Since Obi-Wan used it on Stormtroopers back in Tatooine. Right. And most Eisley. And again, it's for the weak-minded, as you'll see later on the film. Yeah. It doesn't work on Jabba. Right. It's just a really cool way for George Lucas to introduce us to... He's back in black, and he's got powers. He uses the Force Choke. uses the Jedi mind trick. Luke's, Luke's power level from the end of Empire to Jedi which is only a one year time frame span. He's, he's really jumped up there quite a bit in his powers. But again, you've got that Skywalker blood in you, so. Thanks for watching guys. And uh, you know, if you wanna help support our channel, we have t-shirts and we have t-shirts beyond these t-shirts for sale um, and all nerdy stuff. The website's down below in the description. Yeah, help support us. We're a small channel and we're growing. We're trying to push out one video a week and we're doing pretty well so far for only being active. I think this is our 33rd day, I think, which is really good. We're doing really well. Yeah. And as always, with these classic, wonderful, what kept figures, when we're done with them, we put them back inside the nerd treasure chest. See you later, Bib Fortuna. See you later, Bib Fortuna, you weak-minded fool. Weak-minded fool.
Like and subscribe. You will like and subscribe. You will like and subscribe. Welcome to the Nerd Treasure Chest Portal. You will like and subscribe. Which path will you choose? The choice is yours.